The death is announced of Martina Abraham, also known as Agnes, of Church Street, Soufre, who passed away on Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012, at approximately 4.40 a.m. at the St. Jude's Hospital. She was 77 years old, left to mourn seven brothers. Cecil Abraham of Forbenye Soufre, Cletus Abraham and family in the UK, Francis Abraham and family in St. Croix, USVI, Thomas Abraham and family in Trinidad, Leon Abraham of Belle Plaine, Soufre, Stephen Abraham and family in St. John, USVI, John Abraham and family in St. John, USVI, Sisters, Mary Abraham in the UK, Antoinette Alexander and family of Belle Plaine, Soufre, Madeleine Fauché and family of Belle Plaine, Soufre, 36 nieces and nephews including Andrea Fauché who was also her caretaker of New Development Soufre, many grand nieces and grand nephews, brother-in-law Romael Alexander of Belle Plaine Soufre, sisters-in-law Victoria Abraham in London, Julieta Abraham of New Development Soufre, Justina Abraham in St. John, USVI. One aunt, Mabel Jones of Soufre. Godchildren, Hilary Fauché of Forbenye Soufre, who was also her niece. Maclea Hippolyte of Zeno Soufre. Flaviana Pierre-Louis of the USA. Morales Regis of Milat. Close friends, Mrs. Marilyn Paul of Victoria Street, Soufre, Beata and Michael Henry of Church Street, Soufre, Joan Gustave of Church Street, Soufre, Batilia Charles of Rabot, Soufre, Irvin de Souza of Church Street, Soufre, Mr. Wells of Mongouge Chauzel, Gaspar of Belfort Soufre, Benedict Sylvester of Bay Street Soufre, all her neighbors of Church Street Soufre. Also left to mourn, the Abraham family of Soufre and Vieux the Jean Paul family of Victoria, Castries and Fosse Jacques, the Leo and Sylvester family of Fosse Jacques, other relatives and friends both here and abroad too numerous to mention. The funeral service for the late Martina Abraham, also known as Agnes, will take place on Friday, October 12, 2012 at the Soufre Roman Catholic Church at 3.30 p.m. and then to the Soufre Cemetery for burial. The family would like to inform all well-wishers that they would like to mourn in private after the funeral service.